Hey everybody. So I decided I wanted to make this video today because I realized that um, I get a lot of mixed reviews on my content all the time and that's, it is what it is. I've been on social media since I was 15. I have, I heard a car alarm. I've been on social media since I was 15. I have dealt with people trying to cyber bully me, trying to make me feel bad about my looks, trying to tell me about my outfits, trying to tell me about my choice of words. I got this social media thing down pack. But I think at this point, a lot of people mistake me taking the high road a lot of the time for me being pussy. Or a lot of people think that I will allow them to get away with doing weird ass shit to me and not say anything about it. Or when I give them the reaction that they, they thought they wanted, they don't like it, right? So at the end of the day, the biggest thing for me is you don't go knock on somebody's door and say something crazy to them or do some weird ass shit to somebody and then tell them you're not supposed to react that way. And I think a lot of people, um, they see my content as a form of attention seeking. Now I'm going to take myself off of my love and light pedestal for a second. And I hate to even be on a supposed pedestal because I know the reason behind why I do it. I don't have to show them, but the people that DM me every day to tell me how much I inspire them, how much I change their life, how much I make them feel like they can find a way out of their abusive situation, know why I do what I do. I don't have to seek attention from any of you. Quite frankly, the attention that I need, you all can't give it to me because you can't even give it to yourself. So a lot of the time I am met with, I'm an attention seeker, I'm this, I'm that, but a lot of time y'all are just mad. And a situation that occurred yesterday is what especially, if I didn't have confidence in who I am and my power, not even over people, just my power in general, um, that situation yesterday confirmed it. Because even in the midst of me living in my car and posting about living in my car to inspire somebody else that's probably living in their car, somebody else is probably in an abusive relationship or probably is enduring abusive family and they want to get away. The attention that you all feel like I'm seeking, you can't possibly give it to me. You can't even give it to yourselves. And at the end of the day, it's just, it's really beyond me, y'all. Like I've witnessed within this moment, keep in mind, I've been posting for about three months, if that, two, three months, two and a half months, who knows, that I live in my car and I still have people DMing me and trying to get with me. I still have guys talking about how they want to change my life. They wanted this, they wanted that, how they want to come live in the car with me. And y'all see, see I'm living in my car still, right? Because I don't need to cozy up under somebody to change my life. I could change my own life. I could get attention for myself. Y'all have not seen me post one Cash App link. Y'all have not seen me post a GoFundMe. Y'all have seen me going through real life and trying to be honest and transparent about me going through real life. So when you sit up and you fix your mouth to try to act like I'm seeking attention from, from anyone, when you can't even give the attention to yourself, that's when I have to get get wicked. That's when I have to start popping at the mouth. That's when I gotta bring the old Jizza job back and throw her on like a coat. Cause those of you that have followed me since I was 15 know that this mouth gets real fucking reckless. That's why I've lost a lot of Twitters, if we wanna go there. So in the midst of me trying to engage somebody that brought the issue to my doorstep, being a weirdo, being insecure, I felt a pit in my stomach. I felt a disgust for myself because my purpose in this life that I know is not to find a man to pay my bills, is not to find a woman to use me and abuse me, is not to allow a parent to abuse me and just ignore it so I could post pretend happy videos on Instagram, posting in outfits and posting makeup. I feel like you guys have seen enough of that on social media. We need to remember that people live real fucking lives. We need to remember that Everything is not giggles and rainbows. Stop throwing yourself into debt to pretend for people who don't give a fuck about you. Because if it's anything that this journey has taught me as it's coming to a close, because I have good news that I have yet to announce because I want it to be solidified before I announce it. I'm not seeking that attention. So when people get on social media to throw themselves into debt for people that don't give a fuck about you, me, somebody that's been living in her car has learned that people that I've even given opportunities could give a fuck about me because they're using someone else for what they need from them. So they could give a fuck about me. People that I put on to money in the strip club 
strippers banded together to give me $18 for gas, $9 a piece. This is how I've been getting disrespected in the midst of living in my car. But guess what? I realize I don't need people. And I feel like the worst thing that you guys could have done for me, not liking me, is to show me that all that I need is myself. All the answers that I need to every question that I ask, I can find within myself and I can find with God. I have the confidence that I've always had, whether I'm living in a car or whether I'm living in a fucking mansion. God gives me this confidence. Struggle gives me this confidence. So I don't have to seek attention from people who don't even get attention themselves. When people want attention, they bring my name up. When I want attention, I talk about myself. What's the difference? Let's really take it there. But y'all be blessed. I hate to even make a video like this addressing it, but I feel like a lot of the time people take me for a pussy and they don't remember who exactly the fuck I am because I know who the fuck I am and y'all don't know who the fuck y'all are. The people that my content inspires, let that be for them. If you're so agitated and irritated by it, get the fuck off my page. Get the fuck out of my business, even if it's on social media, because it's serving the community that it's intended to serve. I've been shown it through the years, through all of the business that I've told. People telling me how I'm saving their life. That's my purpose on this life, not to find a man, not to manipulate, not to scheme, not to be the most pretend bad bitch on social media. It's to save lives. It's to help people. It's to let people know you don't have to endure familial abuse. You don't have to endure relationship abuse. You don't have to endure friendship abuse because those people want to abuse themselves. So they turn around and they do it to others beside them. Love yourself.